take a second to look around you. You got grace. You got diligence. And you got, well, me. Branta canadensis, also known as the Canadian Goose. If you live in North America, there's a good chance you've seen us around. And admit it, humans, you're scared of us. Maybe you heard one or two stories from your buddies about the time they got chased by a goose. Maybe you notice as we stare menacingly at you from across the pond. Either way, we don't want to trouble. Honest, we just can't communicate our feelings in your language until now. And we got a few things to talk about. Climate change. It's not something you guys are unfamiliar with, but you might have heard the term tossed around so much that it's lost a bit of its grim intensity. Well, let me recontextualize it for you. In the Global Risks Report in 2019, the World Economic Forum ranks environmental threats at the top of the list for the third year in a row. Pretty big deal if you ask me. Climate change entails rising sea levels, rising weather risks, and most of all, rising temperatures. Especially in the Arctic, where we geese live during the summer. When winter comes to a close, we fly up north and arrive just as the snow melts and exposes the delicious grass. The trip takes about a month, but it's timed perfectly so that when we lay our eggs at this time, the goslings will hatch a peak season for plant growth ensuring the emergence of a new generation of healthy geese. But recently, things have been pretty rough. We still arrive around the same time as usual, but the rising temperatures are pressuring us to shorten the trip from a month to a week. As a result, when we get there, we're extremely tired, and it takes us about a week to recuperate. And by the time the eggs are hatched, the season of plant growth has already passed its peak, and the kids, well, the kids don't thrive as much as they used to. And global warming isn't the only thing that affects our livelihood. Things like plastic pollution causes millions of animals across the world to get caught in or choke on discarded plastic. Awful. Terrible. And quite honestly for us, it's unfair. We're not responsible for this, it's an issue bred by humans, and we're left to deal with the consequences. So we implore you, as your avian overlords, do something about it. And make it quick, because it won't be long before it comes back to bite you, like an angry goose mother guarding her goslings. Mm -hmm.